Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. McFarlane Toys, once again, are uh, revealing some new upcoming DC Multiverse slash Page Punchers figures dealing with The Flash, right? So, we'll just jump right into it, but of course, as always, if you are interested in any of these figures, I will have pre-order links down in the description below. Thanks for using my affiliate links. Amazon, Entertainment Earth, maybe Walmart. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, we'll just jump right into it. Thank you so much. So, first and foremost, page punchers, right? Figure, comic book. Much like the Black Adam wave, we're getting a DC superhero-centric super tale. It's featuring The Flash. And uh, Flash is looking very... Um, I can't quite put my finger on it. It just feels like it's turbo time all the time, right? But uh, the Flash, being that they're going to be utilizing this particular comic book, it's exclusive comic book, exclusive looks for the characters, uh, it's not my thing. And I'll just tell you this right off the bat. So I don't have to nitpick at the entire video. These are not for me. This wave is not for me. I like kind of sort of what they did in some aspects. But uh, if we're going to go off the Flash just in general, he's just... Not he's not the Flash. I've got a better Flash. I like Barry Allen in in more of the traditional look, right? Even if you have to go to the the new Jim Lee Fifty Two look, it's just uh, that's what I prefer more so than this. You know what I mean? Next up is Ryan Choi's The Atom, and when I first heard that, I was like, oh, cool, they're making making the Atom. Ryan Choi, that's a that's a different Atom. It's nice to see the Atom in general is nice to see. Now this one I think fares a little bit better for me overall, though. I, I this is gonna be when I see it in store, I see it in hand, I'll make the decision. However, I do like one, he's got extra hands, and two, he's got this little Atom particle effect. That plugs into his back and uh, kind of goes around him in a circle. Like an atom, right? Man, they're being literal these days. But uh, the colors are okay. There doesn't seem to be too much paint. He's got offset pins. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things where if you can just forget all that and have fun, yeah, it's, it's, it's great, right, at the same time. So Captain Cold, next one up. Great to see more Flash villains, villains in general. I think a DC multiverse is lacking in villains and female figures. But uh, Captain Cold, not the ideal look. Yes, I would look at that immediately and go, okay, yeah, that's obviously Captain Cold. Definitely does retain a lot of the looks of Captain Cold, just being a little bit more modern-ish. He comes with his cold gun, not the freeze gun, right? Speaking of freeze, let's get a Mr. Freeze going too. But uh, he, he's just, again... It's okay, I reserve judgment until I see these in hand, but uh, this, this wave is largely a pass for me, unfortunately, but uh, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> That's all I got at this point, but here he is all packaged up. And from cold to now hot, speaking of hot, if you're in California, you know how hot it is, especially today, but uh, we have heat wave. And again, much like Captain Cold, it's it's very different look for the character. He's more of a robot. He kind of looks like Warhammer. He kind of looks like Halo. I don't like the video game aesthetics to these types of characters. I, I do just like simplicity. And uh, while all these figures, you can give it to them all day. They're sculpted nicely. I wouldn't say there's a lot of paint going on. It looks like largely colored plastic, right, overall. I mean, there's paint here and there. But uh, I like the big cannon arm. I mean, it's different enough, but uh, yeah, not different enough for me to be like, yeah, home run. Woo, let's uh, let's get this guy in spades, right? So here he is all packaged up as usual. The packaging looks nice. I like it. It's just the big names right there. Heat Wave and his comic book and yada, yada. You get the idea. Now, there is also supposed to be a mega fig for the Gorilla Grodd figure, as you can see from the comic book cover. So expect more news on him whenever he pops about. Like I said, I'll put all links down in the description below. If Grodd pops up today, next couple days, look for his link down below. But if you don't see it, yeah, it's just because it's not available just yet. But that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new wave of page punchers for DC Multiverse. And you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse slash page punchers. 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, hey, you know what? If you don't like this wave, there's more on the way. And that's that's pretty good, right? Save your money. Get the ones that you really like. That's what collecting is all about. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.